A West Sacramento man accused of pretending to be a cop is now behind bars tonight because his victims would not let him get away. Can I see your badge again, please? In your unmarked vehicle, please? His victims say he flashed, flashed a police badge and tried to pull them over. Good evening, I'm Christina Anderson. I'm Sam Shane. Marie Medina is live in West Sacramento with a video that helped the real cops track down the officer impersonator in a story you'll see only on CBS 13. Maria? And guys, my photographer and I were passing by this gas station when we actually spotted the suspect in his car as he was being arrested, and he wouldn't have been caught if the victim hadn't pulled out his cell phone and started recording. What are you, a cop? I'm not talking to you anymore. Can I see the badge? I'm not showing you anything. For more than six minutes, Zabia Madza repeatedly asks the man who says he's a cop to show him his badge. Come on, officer. Really, dude? Are you going to show me the badge or not? Take but Zabi says he I never does. He wasn't bringing out the badge again. And that's when I realized he wasn't a cop. Zabi says he first spotted the man at a red light in West Sacramento Tuesday afternoon. What followed next, Zabi says, he still doesn't understand. And he started to follow me because everywhere that I would turn, he would turn. According to Zabi, the man flashed a badge twice and followed him to his parents' home. That's when Zabi took out his cell phone and started recording. Okay. Well, I'm Doing what? Patrol. As a cop? Yes. What's your badge number? I'll give it to you. The guy never gives a badge number, but he does apologize, then explains he tried to pull over Zobby for running a red light because his parents died in a red light crash. You can't be doing that. Dude, I'm sorry. You're sorry. But about two hours later. He had a badge waving out, telling me to pull over. Eleanor Martinez claims the same guy tried to pull her over. Instead, Eleanor wrote down his license plate number. It says 5 p SK then called the real cops. I was scared. Hours later, police tracked down the suspect. We happened to stumble on police as they made the arrest in West Sacramento. Oh my God, like that quick, you know, like good job West Sac PD. A suspected fake cop with real evidence that's now sent him to jail. I followed you. Okay. Let's take the phone out of this. And so Westack PD says they do have a 20-year-old man in custody for impersonating a cop. They will not release his identity just yet uh, because they say this investigation is still ongoing, which makes us wonder if there are more than two victims out there. Boy, some incredible videotape there, Maria. Thank you very much for that tonight. Live from West Sacramento.